Hi guys, this is Cho Jane. Um, in today's video, um, let's see. I'm going to talk about a few things uh, here and there. Um, sorry. I'm just trying to see. I'm looking at my notes on my iPad while I'm recording the video. I'm not a YouTuber, so bear with me. I'm just myself. Yeah. Um... A few things to talk about. Okay, first, my mentor said that if you were to follow a millionaire, then you'd better just follow a billionaire. It makes sense logically, right? It would be better to follow a billionaire's thinking than millionaire's thinking because billionaire's point of view would be much bigger um, and more perspectives than a millionaire. So it's better to follow a billionaire than a millionaire. Yeah. Um, by the way, my mentor, um, his name is Ice Kang and he's teaching business, sales, training, marketing, and he's a business coach and he's training people to make money with business and be successful. And I'm part of his class and I'm grateful that I have him as my mentor. He's the only person that I call in this life that I have as a mentor. Um, I've never seen somebody like him before. And after, I don't think I will see anybody like him in my life. Um, yeah, I'm just so grateful. Um, yeah, anyways, um, so he told me that in the class, he told us that if you were to follow a millionaire, then you have to follow a billionaire. Yeah, it just makes sense. Billionaire has more perspectives than millionaire. That's how they got to be a billionaire, right? Um, yeah. Um, and also another thing he said, is this what he said? I think, yeah. I jot it down anyway. Um, let's say if I'm broke and you are also broke. But truthfully, even though both of us are broke, we're the same. But we're not the same. I may be having more potentials than you. If... I dream and aim big things. So, in other words, even if I am broke right now, I shouldn't have to be depressed that this is gonna go forever. Because as long as I dream and aim big and making a progress each day towards my goals, um, then I will be successful one day and I will be making lots of money. Um, I will find my financial freedom and freedom in general in life. I'll be happy. Um, so in other words, I shouldn't be looking at the current situation as it is right now. I have to think about my future. Um, yeah. So just because we are both broke, that doesn't mean the same thing. You would think the same. You would think that it would be the same on the surface, but it is really not. You have to go in deep in their mind where their life is going. Um, 
that's the second thing that I wrote down. And the third one is everything is persuasion. Um, my mentor said that everything is persuasion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what he said. Yeah. Um, it's not about just business. Um, it's about anything in life. Human relationship mostly also, right? If one person is persuaded, the other person persuaded. Yeah. Um, even if as a teacher right now, I'm a preschool lead teacher in my classroom. So I'm in charge of 17, four year, five, year, five years old children in my classroom. And um, in order for them to um, follow our classroom routine, I have to persuade them. It can be either my charisma or it can be either me explaining to them logically how things are working. It can be either showing them, me showing them how to do things. Many different, many, many different ways. But it all comes down to persuasion, right? Even working with little children. And working with other teachers at the school also. Or just in friendship. Um, it's about human relationship. In li uh, life is about human relationship, right? Everything is human relationship. And because of that reason, everything is persuasion. Yeah. Um, that's what my mentor said and I just extended my thought about it um, okay so that was the third one right the fourth one my mentor said he always emphasized meaningful meaningful relationship meaningful work and I cannot say I may not understand him fully but I always, uh, even before I started taking his classes, um, I always, I've always sought for meanings and I always put the value on meanings. I wanted to find meanings in my life. I wanted to f be with meaningful people. To be honest, the friends that I have right now i mean they're good friends but i don't think none of them will be meaningful to me <laughs> does this sound so brutal maybe maybe so but um anyways that's another long story but after hanging out with them i always feel so empty um it's just like I always feel like I have to fit myself in the group. I never felt like I'm part of them. Yeah, so I figure that's not meaningful to me. Those are not meaningful friends to me. They're not meaningful friends to me. Um, so I'm still looking for a meaningful relationship and meaningful work. Um, yeah, that's a thought from me. Yeah. Um, he also said that good people will have will be cooperating with each other. Um, that's something that he always emphasizes: cooperation. Um, But in order to do that, you have to have um, individual power, individual skill set. So it's like if I want to be able to be a little bit of help to him in the future, then I have to grow my power, individual power, individual skill set. Um, that's what I thought about 
And then let's see what else. I just want to go through all the notes that I took down from his class because I have so many and then I don't want to keep accumulating because tomorrow I will learn and I will jot down new things. So yeah. Oh, and then he also said that if you focus on skills, then people will follow. Um, so I don't really have to be a people pleaser. I don't have to look for people to like me. Um, I just have to grow myself to be a better person. And that is how I focus on my skills. I have to grow my individual power. Um, yeah, that's the way. And then, let's see. Wow, it's 11 minutes already. I will be going through quickly, maybe, so. Um, you will know. But it's not working easier to trust your guts. I jot down like this. If you once find something works, you will know what is not working and easier to trust the guts. Um, oh, so if I ever find something works, so if I do many things, many like if I tried many times of something, and then finally I succeeded and I found something work. Um, like I'm something I found something that's working. Then obviously I know what's not working after so many tries and it's easier for me to trust myself. Um, the more I try, the more I um become successful that way because the more I try the more chances I will find something successful and I have all the data, right? And repetition gives me confidence. So it's easier to trust myself and easier to keep going on. Like I said in the other video, zero to one is very hard, but one to something and on and on it's easier it gets easier over time but after many repetition after repetition um so quantity wins over qualities um yeah uh and he also said that don't be afraid he didn't exactly say it like this but i'm just gonna elaborate in my own way um, my mentor said that um, don't be afraid to be hated uh, to be hated by somebody or some people. Um, even if you are seen as selfish and you may be selfish, you have to find other options or you have to find options. You have to find the best things for yourself. Um, so don't be afraid to be hated. Um, and then let's see and this is something that I wrote down this is from my own self this is not from my mentor I said I don't want to fall for it human nature doesn't change I don't want to be somebody who needs to suffer even though I don't like it basically I jotted down this because I Sin people, I I know people who just who are just okay with suffering, even though they don't like it. Um, and then maybe me also, to be honest. Um, because of reasons I. I accepted it. 
I accepted suffering. But I'm trying to change my mindset on it also. I'm actually thinking a lot about it. How I would best deal with my current situation. Because it's all about mindset. It sounds so cheesy, but it really is about all about my mindset. How I think about it is really making the difference. But bottom line is, I don't want to be somebody who's okay with suffering, even though they're not okay with it. It's just like lying about yourself, right? I don't like it. Um, that's what I wrote down. Yeah, sorry, that was so random. Actually, this video is going to be random videos of many notes that I jotted down and it doesn't necessarily mix together, but it relates to each other. As a big picture, it relates to each other. So just bear with me if you ever finish watching this video. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. In 30 seconds. Why did I write that down? Um, okay, yeah, so... When persuading somebody... Yeah, I will not talk about that one. When persuading somebody, you will... Have to do it in 30 seconds. You will, you will do it... Um... You'll do it 30 seconds. Well, I have learned that I did not know how to use resources properly. For example, microphone. Yeah. So lately, I think I come to understand a little bit better what my mentor was saying. You have to spend money just because you're saving money and not spending any penny doesn't get you anywhere. You have to know how to spend money <coughs> and you have to experience spending money as like for example microphone it sounds so silly to me but it may sound so silly to you also but um because i've tried so many times buying new microphones and returning i'm learning i'm learning that using a microphone would be beneficial to me when i'm recording a video um um, and that's like one example of using resources around me. It's not that expensive, you know, I can still buy it and then try to see if it works for my video quality better sounds. Um, it's just an example, but using the resources properly, like my mentor, for example, he's my resource, right? He's the best result, resource, res resource that I have. Um, and I am using him as my resource, um, and my other classes and teachers there, or, I don't know, classmates, um, those can be resources, um, everything can be resources around me, but it's just a matter of me recognizing it and using it properly. Um, and not being too confident about myself and not overly depending on myself only because I cannot do, I cannot do it on my own. I cannot be successful on my own. I have to have mentors. I have to have a guide. Um, so yeah, so using learning to use the resources properly learning to use the resources properly meaning recognizing resources around me and using it properly yeah that's what i wrote down um i want to be someone who meets the criteria uh this is just my saying that um in the future, I wanted to be a help to my, I want to be a help to my mentor, 
but in order to do that i have to have individual power i have to have skill set i have to have some experiences um i have to have something to give to him so that's what i wrote down um yeah um also it's almost the end bear with me be the penguin that has color has character um he said that don't be any penguin um be the penguin with the character with the with the color um actually even before i was taking his classes um i was thinking about um success a lot and i thought as a human being you have to have a character um sort of uh goes along with what he said yeah anyways um let's see If you are really kind, then you should be able to criticize. Just because you are silent doesn't mean that you are kind. Real kind person, according to my mentor, very kind person is able to criticize of the wrong things. And that makes sense. It's actually going back to the thought that I had. I don't want to fall for it. Human nature doesn't change. I don't want to be somebody who needs to suffer even though I don't like it. So, um... Being able to be true to yourself and being able to say the truth, um, that takes courage, right? And that's the kindness. Um, just being silent is like you're ignoring it, right? Even though you see it, you pretend that you didn't see it. That's ignoring it. That may not be the kindest thing that you can do um that's how i understood last thing even if you are not good as long as you are marketing yourself and willing to grow over time you can get clients and make money um yeah that's what i wrote down here it's as it is Nobody is going to be the best in the beginning, right? When you're learning something. Um, however, you can still work for somebody. You can still be a help to someone. Even if your skill set is not the best yet at that moment. Because as long as you're willing to learn and grow and be better and better you will eventually become better you will eventually become the best so that is not a reason for why you cannot start but that is not a reason why you cannot start something cannot get a client cannot get money um yeah actually so many of these things some of them are redundant but it is really not redundant to me it's like reaffirmation and that's why i think i'm becoming a better person and my mindset is changing and shifting to a better um yeah anyways oh wow 24 minutes so far okay i'll end it here this video was very long unusually and i was rambling and jumbling and it was all mixed up there was no organized thought but i just felt like it I just felt like going through all of those notes that I took down and yeah.
anyways i hope you guys have a good night and i'm gonna go to bed also um i will see you tomorrow um let's all be winners let's not be losers let's all be winners we can do it i can do it you can do it we can do it all right bye now